Hello friends, this video on food production enhancement part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So even before we talk about mutation breeding, let us quickly recap what is mutation. So let us see what is mutation. So it is a process that brings about a change in the genetic material. Now whatever we see as uh, the external features or the external characteristics of a living organism that is because of what is stored inside its genes. So where do we have the genes? Inside our body it is made up of cell and inside each cell we have a nucleus. Inside the nucleus we have the chromosomes and on chromosomes we have genes. So here you can see this is the structure of a chromosome and on these chromosomes are located the genes so here you can see these yellow colored structures which are genes and what are genes genes are nothing but they are present in the form of DNA so each part of DNA will correspond to a particular gene now what brings about uh, like how DNA controls the synthesis of proteins which in turn displays our characteristics. Now, the way our structural organization is, it is all because of the type of proteins which are being synthesized inside our body. And the protein synthesis in turn is controlled by the DNA. So now if you can bring about the change in the genetic material, which is DNA. So if you can change any sequence of bases on this DNA, you can actually bring about a change in that living organism because this tiny DNA actually controls the entire features of the living organism. So inside this organism, you have many cells like this. Inside this cell, you have the nucleus. So this is the nucleus and inside the nucleus, you have the chromatin thread like structures which in turn condense to form chromosomes and on the chromosomes you have genes and gen DNA that is deoxyribonucleic acid is the genetic material. So as I said since there are very limited disease resistant genes therefore new disease resistant genes are created and how are they created by bringing about a change in the genetic material that is by bringing about a change in the dna so that is the concept or basis of mutation breeding now what can cause mutation how can you create mutation there are many external factors that can cause mutation like radiations ultraviolet radiations or x-rays so any kind of strong radiations or chemicals or smoking so all these are factors which can cause mutation that is which can, which can actually bring about a change in the genetic uh, material there are many internal factors as well for example dna replication errors as you all know that inside our body there are the according to the central dogma of molecular biology what happens is how protein synthesis takes place is from rna and how is rna created from dna by transcription so even before transcription dna replicates itself to create one more copy or an additional copy of dna so now sometimes what happens is during this replication that is during creating this additional copy sometimes some errors happen so here if you see let us suppose this is the original copy and this is another copy or the duplicate copy which has been created so now if you look at the base sequence here you see that there is a difference in the sequence so the base sequence has got changed so here it was pink whereas here it is blue so due to this change in the base sequence it can actually create new proteins because your entire codon is getting changed you have studied all these things in your genetics so when the sequence of bases changes then it creates an mRNA which is again different and that mRNA will code for some other protein so some other protein gets synthesized and as a result you see a difference in the trait or the characteristic of that organism so now when we talk about mutation breeding, so how do we create mutation? Now creating mutation by internal factors will not be possible because that is not under our control. But external factors, yes, that is under our control. So what is mutation breeding? It is process of artificially inducing mutation to obtain the desired trait in a plant. So let us suppose in this case, the desired trait is disease resistant genes. So how do we induce disease resistant genes by artificial induction? And how do we artificially induce mutation by with the help of radiations? Because we saw that there are many external factors also which can create mutation. So we can make use of radiations and chemicals to 
to induce mutation. So resistant genes are thus introduced by this technique. Disease resistant genes can be introduced with this technique. So genetic variations are created. So how do we create genetic variations? By bringing about a change in the base sequence of DNA. So it is artificially induced by either chemicals or radiations. So let us see, let us look at some examples. Now you would have seen that this yellow mosaic virus in many plants, for example, even in the beans plant also it is present. So a resistant variety of this plant has been developed which is resistant against this particular virus that is yellow mosaic virus. So as a result, this virus will not be able to affect this plant. And how was it developed? By bringing about a mutation. So that was for, that was plant breeding for disease resistance. Now, how do we handle plant breeding for improved food quality? Now, before that, let me ask you, what do we mean by improved food quality? So by food, we understand all the fruits, vegetables, etc., whatever we get from plants. Now, when we say improved quality, why do we eat food? So that our body can get all the necessary nutrients that it needed, that is needed by the body to perform all the life processes. So now, if even if you are eating something, but let us suppose that doesn't contain any nutrient. So is that going to help? That is not going to help because it is not giving your body what is needed by the body. So food quality should ensure that they are rich in the essential nutrients which are needed by the body like proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals. So these are some of the very important essential things which are needed by our body for survival. So we should ensure that whatever food we are eating, whether it is the vegetables or the fruits or the cereals, whatever we are eating, they should be rich in all these nutrients. Now when the food is rich in all these nutrients, we say that the food is has good quality. So what do we do in order to ensure that the food quality can be further improved? That means the food can be further enriched with these nutritions. So it is expected that the content of all these nutrients should be very high in vegetables, fruits and grains. That, that is also important because not everybody in our country is very rich to afford large quantity of vegetables, fruits and grains. Now let us assume that the content of uh, nutrients is very less in an apple. So in that case, if you want to I mean, gain a lot of nutrients, you will have to eat a lot of apples because each of them contains small amount of nutrient. But now buying apples and eating them is not affordable by all sections of our society. So we need to ensure that one apple contains enough nutrients so that eating one apple can provide you more nutrients and can provide you more energy. So that means also fruits and vegetables should be enriched with higher content of nutrients. Lack of these nutrients can cause damage to the health, it can cause several diseases, it can cause malnutrition, illness as well as death. it can even cause death. Starvation can lead to death. So now with, on, in this regard we will talk about a process called biofortification. Now what does the word mean biofortification? Now bio means life. Fortification is derived from the word fortify and fortify means to strengthen that is strengthening so the word means life strengthening so what do we do to strengthen life or to make life even more strong so it is basically a process of breeding crops with higher levels of vitamins and minerals to ensure improved food quality and improved food quality will make life more strong and that is why the word biofortification because the good quality food will actually strengthen your life so breeding crops with higher levels of vitamins and minerals so when we add additional vitamins and minerals to crops this process is called biofortification so when we say higher levels of what exactly what we try to increase that not only the content that is not only the quantity but also the quality the quality is also enhanced for proteins oils vitamins minerals and micronutrients micronutrients means those nutrients which are needed by small amounts by the body so let us look at some examples for example in case of wheat a variety of wheat has been developed which is called atlas 66 which has very high protein content so the protein content in this particular variety of wheat is several times greater than that of the other wheat varieties 
Similarly, if you take the example of rice, there also a particular variety of rice has been developed which has very high content of iron which is almost five times of the other existing varieties and iron is a very important mineral which is needed by our body. Again, if you look at the example of maize, it has new varieties have been developed with ha which has very high content of amino acids. And what are amino acids? Amino acids are going to form the proteins. So basically, they have higher content of proteins. So this is how different crops with higher content of the nutritional things have been developed by the process of breeding. And this is called biofortification. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four-step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.